Welcome to the homework for lesson 22. This is module 4 of grade 2. Write your name on here first. And we're going back to doing mental math here for a bit. Look for look to make 10 ones or 10 tens to solve the following problems using place value strategies. So, this is going to look a little goofy at times because we're just making it up as we go. We're looking for ways to make 10 first in the ones digits and then with the tens digits. All right, so right here we have, there's a 10. 10 plus 6, 16. And then let's look here. Let's look at the ones digits. Uh, we have the same 6, 3, and 7. So we know our ones digits are going to add up to 16. We could look at it that way because we just solved that, right? So that's going to be 16 plus, and now we're looking at the tens, which is 3 and 2, that's, that's going to be a 50, and that's 10 more. So 16 plus 60, 76. And now we're looking at the same thing again with the 6, the 3, and the 7, and that's a 16. Now let's look at our tens digits. They're the same as they were in the one we just did, right? Because we have a 20. Are they? No, they're not. A 20, a 20, and a 10. So those three together are going to add up to 50. And then we have 100. So that's going to be 150, 160, 166. And that's how you show it with these little, make a little number bond out of these, pointing to these digits. And that's what I'm going to use to show where that 50 came from. And then I have this equation here at the bottom that shows how I added together my place values. And so we're going to do something like that. You may have a, a way that looks a little bit different. Maybe you like to write yours on the bottom, make your number bonds going down instead of above. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as you have this equation that shows how you put your place values together that will show your work and let's see here we go that's 10 plus 5 15 right and now we have the same 8 and 2 and 5 that's the 15 and then and I could do that like this, right? And my tens, I'm going to have, ooh, there's a seven and a three, right? That's a hundred, and then two more, that's a hundred twenty. So instead of just adding three tens and two tens, five tens, and then adding seven to that five and counting up to twelve, it's easier if, if I see the seven and the three first, I'm like, oh, there's a hundred. Right, look for those combinations to 10, and it just makes things so much faster and easier. And you have much less chance of making a counting mistake if you're counting up in your head. <clears throat> All right, so that's 120, 10 more is 130, plus 5, 135. And we have the same 8, 2, and 5 for 15. And my 10s now, let's see, we have got an 8, a 6, and a 1. There's no easy way to make 10 there, but this is going to be 8 and 6 is 14, and another one is 15, that's 150. So that's 165. And then down here I have, oh, there's a 10 and there's a 10. 20. And then we have the same 9, 4, 6, and 1 for 20. And now we're looking at, what, 2 and 3, 4, no, oh, 2 and 3 is 50. 
20 and 30 is 50 and then we have this 40 and this 10 that's another 50 and 50 and 50 is 100 120 uh, let's see we have the same one four nine and six yep some of those again add up to 20 and then we're looking at we have a five and a one and a three and an eight it doesn't look like an easy way to make ten there <clears throat> Uh, six, five, nope, so we'll just do this, that 80 and 30 is 110, and this is 60, 10 and 50, so 20 plus 60 plus 110 is the 20 and 60, that makes 80, 110 plus 80 is 190. That's how you show it. <clears throat> the table shows the top six soccer teams and their total points scored this season. All right, so how many points did the yellow and orange teams score together? So here's the yellow team and the orange team. And that's 38 plus 52. And here, I'm not going to draw a tape diagram for this because uh, we already have this chart up here. So we kind of already have a picture to work with. Uh, and I see, oh, look, there's the 8 and the 2, right? That's a 10. And then this 3 and this 5 is an 80. So 80 plus 10, 90, yellow and orange scored 90 total points. And that's how you got to show it, right? With these number bonds, and you got to have some kind of an equation on this to show how you got your answer. And this, these number bonds that I made show how I got those numbers and how I added them together. And then you have to have your answer statement. How many total points did yellow, orange, and blue teams score together? So there's yellow and orange. We already figured those out. Now we got to add the blue to that. So here's the blue, 76. So we can take the 90 plus 76 equals now this 76 I could think of as 10 and 66 there's a hundred right so that's a hundred oops Hundred sixty-six. Another way to show this, besides that kind of goofy looping in, is you could. This is one where you could really show the arrow way, where you could show ninety plus ten, a hundred plus sixty-six, hundred sixty-six. You could. The arrow way would be a good way to show that too. And that's just an example. You don't have to have them both ways. How many points did the red... Oh, I need a answer statement. Uh, yellow. Orange. And blue. Scored 166 total points <clears throat> how many points did the red green and black teams score together so red is 29 green is 41 and black is 20 so 29 41 and 24 29 
plus 41 plus, what was the other number? 24. Now this looks like some of the problems we did on the first page. Here we have a 9 and a 1. There's a 10. And then we'll plus that 4 is 14. And then we have to figure out our 10s, right? We have, since I don't have any room to do it like number bond style, I can write 20 plus 40 plus 20 equals 80. And then 80 plus 14 equals 94. Now, would it be easier just to do this whole thing vertically? You could. But I don't have room to show it because I have to write my answer statement. I need all the room left to do it. Red, green, and black. Scored 94 total points. Okay, which two teams scored a total of 70 points? Hmm. It reminds me a little bit of the homework question from the end of Lesson 21. We're going to find total that adds up to 70. So if it adds up to 70, that means we're going to have to bundle all of the 1's digits to make a 10 and have 0 1's left over. So we need numbers that are going to add up to 70, but the 1's digits are going to have to add up to 10. And it's two teams, right? So... Let's see, this 29 would need a, this 9 would need a 1. 29 and 40, that would be, how about 29 and 41? Well, that's 2 10s and 4 10s is 60, and that's another. The 9 and the 1 is another 10. That would make it 70. Those would work right there, the red and the green. 29 plus 41. So we got to show that. Sixty plus ten equals seventy. Red and it was red and green, right? Yep. Red and green. Scored seventy points together or total. There. Which two teams scored a total of 100 points? All right, so we're going to use kind of the same strategy here, but we need two large numbers, right, to add up to to add up to 100. So we're going to need, uh, let's look at two of the larger numbers. If we try to get blue and orange together, that's 70 and 50, that's going to be more than 100. So those two won't go together. <clears throat> Plus, we need, we need teams that add up to, right, 100. The ones digits have to add up to 10. So uh, let's look at red and see if any of the teams will work with red. Um, you know, green won't be enough because that'll only be 70. Oh, if only there was a 71, that would work. But there isn't. So red, red won't work. We can't use red. Uh, how about the 38? What would that need to get up to 100? We need a 2. We need a 2 to add to the 8, and then that will be a 10, and we need 6 more 10s. So it would have to be 62. There's no 62 here, so that won't work. How about the 41? 41 needs a 9, and there's no 9s left that we can use because the red team is, doesn't, it won't be enough to add to the red team, so that won't work. So now we've got three teams left, and of those... We only have the 6 and the 4 here to look at for the 10's digits working out. So the 76 and the 24. Let's try blue and black. 76 plus 24. And you may have found an easier way to come to it than that. But that's just how I did it, starting from the top and working my way down. And just crossing out the ones that I know won't work with any of the other numbers. 
Uh, let's see. So we've got the 6 and the 4. That's 10. And the 70 and the 20 is 90. So that's 100. And that was blue and black. <laughs> 